Reno Mokri advised those supporting Peter B not to alienate him from people. Omokri no said that Peter B is an excellent candidate, but his supporters should not isolate him from people. He no said that the attitude of some people may discourage those sets of people that may ordinarily support Peter B. Omokri advised the supporters to stop attacking people. He said they should sell him, be persuasive, and appeal to people because election cannot be won on or by militancy. In another tweet, Reno Omokri said people are doing more damage to Peter B's candidacy whenever they gather to fight anybody that does not agree with them or support another candidate. Omokri advised that some people that haven't made up their minds are watching. So Peter B's supporters should use the opportunity to sell him. He said instead of being a figure or a fighter for him, they should be a marketer for him. Omokri has said the right thing. Everyone is entitled to his or her own opinion, and opinions can also be changed when there is proper persuasion. So instead of making enemies while defending Peter B, they should breed and build bridges that would increase the choose or the chances of Peter Obi. <laughs> do you really agree with uh, what he has said? One thing I believe is that anything we do at the end of the day, we'll see ourselves there. Any choice we make, we'll miss ourselves there. Those who came with a uh, who came aggressively, now they say they are opening borders and a lot of people know what we end up with all those uh, border opening or reopening of borders. So everybody should just be careful. It's just unfortunate that Obi came up at a time when the geopolitical calculation is not favorable to the Southeast. Yes, he would have been the best candidate for the PDP primary. The problem is the party needs a formidable candidate now, irrespective of geopolitical zone or region. Hence, Atiku is the man that can get that party, the 2023 ticket for APC. Is it by? Is it only by PDP or APC? I don't understand. Is it or is it by what Nigerians are going to get? Because now, from what I'm even saying now, it's all about oh, we in P APC we have to continue. We in PDP we have to take it from them and want to take it from them and we begin to do our usual thing. We begin to assign. We begin to you know it's now our turn to eat. That is it. Not that they really love this country. I've always said it. They are the same. But you can say they are not the same because they work different way. But at the end of the day, to achieve the same purpose, they achieve the same purpose. So it is all about the APC should just PDP to try to get it from APC. Oh, that is it. Who is going to pull the trigger? Who is going to do the right thing? Just for for uh, a particular, just help the collector. They will collect the power from APC. And PDP, PDP will get it and they begin to do the normal business they used to do. Or these ones want to retain the power so that they will continue the rubbish they are doing. APC will now continue with the rubbish they are doing. That is just this. Nobody is talking about say, who is going to put the trigger, who is going to do the needful. But we just have to get the power. Oh, the power must shift to this. It must shift to that place. It must shift to this zone. That is what I can see and deduce from what all of them are after. Well, if you are saying that... Uh, Peter Obi is coming at the wrong time. There is no other time than now. Obi supporters are mainly the Epa led IPOP and okay, Age, okay, unknown gunmen. They are always attacking anyone who's if not for Obi. What of it is it? It's always like that. What about it? You know, you, do you know what his supporters are doing? They are even fighting themselves. We should have just supporters and Tinubu uh, supporters. And some people are telling us, uh, this man is fighting Peter Obi. Ngigi. So what do you call uh, the supporters of uh, these people? Oshibajo and Tinubu. So they are, they are in friendly match. Renu had been attacking Tinubu and Oshibajo because of Atiku, but he didn't see it as an insult. Yet, some Igbophobic are clapping for him. Peter B is your nightmare, but you chose to attack him indirectly through his supporters. Obi's popularity will continue to surprise you people. Yes, if Peter B should be known in the north and you, you are in the south, and uh, in the south doesn't know him, 
then something is wrong. Let egos continue attacking and abusing people. That is what will win election for candidacy. You are not even voting Igbo people. You are voting for a Nigeria that has the capacity to restore us as a nation back to where we are meant to be or continue from where we are to higher heights. And it will be benefit. It will be benefit beneficial to all Nigerians. Our economy and education will grow. Our kids have a brighter future. Our loans will be settled and it is not only egos we enjoy it and there will be equity and fair judgments. The supporters not get political sense, may then continue to insult people. Now your political sense puts us for where we are now, Abio. You. you will get political sense. We can see how it has how far it has helped us. Uh, how far it has brought us. <laughs> uh, in fact, uh, this one enters. So your political sense now see where it has put us. Now, for Igbo people, body, all of Una, they get power. The people we uh, threaten Una yesterday with death, Una no fake off. Can you imagine? Yes, Una no fake off. The time and capable hand politically has not appeared in the southeastern Nigeria. Renault has spoken well to an extent, though, but my fear for Pisaobi is that our voters cannot let him lead. Do but some clueless and self centered political elites may overturn him for their, for their interests. Which Nigeria are you uh, killing yourselves? Alice Equemi warned you, all betrayers, let's break away now before it will be too late. Pisabi and his apologies only penchant is to be blackmailing people to make Obi look like his sins. They have absolutely nothing to market him with other than his fallacy of non-existent 75 billion naira he claims to have left in Anambra with no achievement in his name to point at it was a deliberate strategy designed by Opie to demarket Obiano when it became obvious to him that Obiano's achievements as draft is boast of best governor so you think like seriously I hope they will all listen Whoever that is doing that is a spy from the enemies, not a true supporter of Peter Obi. I think Peter Obi should warn them either you are sincere and humble supporter or you quit or you do what you vamos. <laughs> you quit. Mm. I don't believe all these abusers are Peter Obi's followers. Most of them are enemies of Obi being used to discredit Obi's candidature. Those who say they have a political sense, the question is that see the way the political sense has as as where it has brought us.